Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all doing well. I am working on the Harley Lowrider today, and in a previous video I mentioned that I had removed my Harley Davidson mustache engine guard. So the reason I removed it was because it had built-in foot pegs on there that I really wasn't using, and I actually prefer the look of the standard engine guard, so that's what I have today. Let's see what's in the box. It's a really simple hardware kit. This is just a three bolt install. So I forget which bolts are in here, but let's find out right now. So these two bolts that go onto the bottom part of the frame are T45s. And then on the top part, you have a quarter inch hex with a little nut on the back. This one's really hard to get to, and I'll explain that in a few minutes. Looks like Harley Davidson has already pre-applied some sort of Loctite on here, so I, I won't be putting any more on this one, but I will be adding Loctite to the bottom bolts because I don't really see anything on there. From my past experience installing the other engine guard, I found out that loosely inserting the bottom bolts to hold it in place while you work on the center, that top bolt, is probably the best way to go. So these ends right here will face towards the bike and just make sure that the uh, carved out pieces will actually kind of line up with the frame. So that's going to also face the bike here. So just so you know which side is which. Also, I did put a little shop towel on my fender just so I don't accidentally um, bang that up a little bit while I'm trying to get this bar in place. Okay, got one of these loosely in place here. Now I'm gonna get the other side. So there are two holes here and the bottom one seems like it's the one that lines up the best. Now this little nut on the back is a half inch and it's really hard to get to from behind here. So I'm gonna just try to get it finger tight. Uh, so I lost the nut. I can't find it for anything. It was jammed in over here and I was trying to get it and then it fell down somewhere. How's the puppy? I found the bolt. It went in behind this thing. I told you this one was a hassle to get on there. So the hard part is getting this part threaded onto the back and then trying to get a wrench up in here to hold it in place while you torque it down on this side. Oh, 
Okay, I've got it. I've got the thread started on there. So before you bolt this down all the way, though, just make sure that your clutch cable isn't in the way. If it is, you can just twist it a little bit out of the way so it doesn't get pinched in between there. All right, I'm not going to torque this down. I'm just going to snug it up right now. All right, now I'm going to snug these bolts up on either side here. Okay, I'm going to torque these down now. This top one needs to be 30 foot-pounds. Okay, and these bottom bolts need to be 33 foot-pounds. Yeah, I think I like the look of these better than the mustache version. Now the main reason I swapped these out was because uh, I want to put some soft lowers on here for the winter time. And this standard bar has a lot more options for soft lowers than the mustache version. Well guys, that wraps up the video for today. This is a short one. It would have been a lot shorter if I wouldn't have dropped that screw. As always, if you liked the video, click that like button. If you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. And I will see you guys on the next one.